When most people buy a Nissan Leaf, they, they buy it for a couple of different reasons. You know, number one, they either like to save money on gas or it was one of the first EV cars mass produced in America. So they want it for that factor. There are actually around 165,000 of these cars produced and sold in America and then around 650,000 sold worldwide. But something people don't really talk about much is the battery that's inside of there. And a lot of people don't like to talk about it until it's too late. So let's go talk about that and dive into that right now. All right, so the battery battery pack right here. This is a 24 kilowatt hour battery pack. This is what goes in the 2014 Nissan Leaf. So they made these leaves from 2013 to 2015. And then this is 2011 to 2012. Okay. So the big problem with these batteries, and we get a lot of customers come in specifically in the winter time is because of one main reason. They don't have a TMS, which is a thermal management system. So these batteries can't cool down or heat up on its own. Meaning like if you have somewhere hot like California, Arizona, Texas, or like Florida, and the battery is super hot, the car is super hot, it can't cool down on its own. Or if you live somewhere hot like Canada, for example, the battery is freezing inside, it can't heat it up, right? Which leads to degradation being a lot faster than normal, right? So again, this is 24 kilowatt hour, 2013 to 2015. This is also a 24 kilowatt hour, 2011 to 2012. And we're actually gonna go check out what this battery looks like inside underneath the case. We're gonna do the same with this battery, so let's go. So right here in front of us is a 24 kilowatt hour, 2011 to 2012 Nissan Leaf. In here, we're gonna have 48 Gen 1 modules, okay? So what he's doing right now is he's one by one taking these modules out, these Gen 1 modules. And then once we take them all out, we're gonna take our Gen 3 modules and put them inside the pack. There's further other remanufacturing that still needs to be done. But what this does is it increases the amp hours of the battery, which is going to increase your overall range, right? So also a cool thing that we'll get to later on in the video is what we do with these modules since they're out of the pack, right? Because like, for example, some of these are not going to be put into a new battery pack, but they still have lots of life inside of them. So we'll discuss later of what happens to them for their second life. So let's go check out this pack right here. They got it with the lid off right now. This is a 40 kilowatt hour, 2013 to 2015 Nissan Leaf battery pack. Okay, so you're gonna have 24 of these modules inside the battery pack. If you kind of look closely, you'll actually see two of them are kind of in one module itself, right? So you have two, what we would call modules in the other pack, kind of stacked into one. If you kind of like this module information or you're interested in Second Life applications, we actually released a video going over every single generation of Nissan Leaf module. So if you're into that, go watch our video. We'll put it in the link of our bio. But again, this is a 40 kilowatt hour pack. So for this range, these modules are gonna be about 85% percent state of health and these are gen 3 modules inside the battery pack you're probably going to get around from us 130 to 100 miles of range on this battery pack with the uh, 24 kilowatt hour battery pack for the 2013 to 2015 nissan leaf you're looking around 70 percent state of health and probably 55 to 65 miles of range okay so now we're going to go put the lid on top of this battery pack go install it on the car and we can also talk about some second life applications while we go for a drive guys so the battery just got installed and let's go ahead and let's do some zero emission driving. Let's go. Okay, so the modules that you're looking at on the screen right now are the modules that are inside of this car. And as we talked about earlier, how like, for example, for this battery, we take out the Gen 1 modules and we put inside the Gen 3 modules, what happens to the other ones, right? So Nissan Leafs, the modules itself, they go from 100% to 70% state of health relatively fast. But once they're at that 70% level, that threshold, it stays there for years on years on years. So what do people do with them? Well, they use them for like home energy storage systems, EV conversions, and if you look at screen now you're looking at an ev conversion so these are some modules that we sold to a guy he put it inside of a nissan leaf battery pack and he did his own ev conversion and people also use these full battery packs and the modules in these battery packs to make their own home energy storage system so where we're at right now the power is i think it's like uh 15 cents per kilowatt hour during daytime and during nighttime it drops all the way down to two cents per kilowatt hour so what people do is they stack these nissan leaf modules on top of each other 
Chrysler, they have our own BMS kit that we sell at Green Tech, and they charge up the battery during nighttime when it's cheaper power and then discharge during daytime, and they can only pay 10 or 15 bucks a month on power. So the cool thing about it is it doesn't even end there, right? So you have your you have the battery life in the car, then you have your home energy storage or the second life with the modules, and then after that, what we're able to do with Green Tech Recycling is we recycle these modules, okay? We discharge them first, recycle the modules, and with that, we gain valuable materials which can be used to build more batteries in the future. So it's kind of like this full loop, right? Because a lot of people are under the perception of, oh, batteries are really bad because you have to mine for the materials. But what Green Tech's doing here is, is, is literally world changing. We're able to take the batteries, remanufacture them after their first life in a car to another life in a car. Then after that, use them for home energy storage systems, EV conversions, or whatever else people want to do for projects and then finally recycle them to gain materials to build more batteries right because once gas is in the air it's in the air it's gone forever but evs they can hold charge they can discharge but they also hold materials and gas doesn't hold as a material so i hope you guys enjoyed that little lesson right there and uh let's go talk about why we have so many of these batteries why i'm in a nissan leaf right now and why we have hundreds of these batteries at our warehouse So we've got the Gen 1 Leaf right in front of us right now. We just unplugged the 12 volt. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put these yellow slabs right underneath it, lift the car up, unbolt the battery, remove it, and then we can kind of go from there. Okay, so what he just did is he unbolted all these bolts along the battery. Now it's just literally lifting up the car. You'll see the battery, boom, right here. We can go around and look at it from this side. Okay, so boom, battery's out. He's taking it out. We're putting a new one in right now, but this is what it looks like underneath the actual car itself. See, so the battery fits in perfectly underneath the car. Look at that orange cable right here. This is what plugs into the car. So that's this wire right here, which you plug right into the battery itself, okay? Now it's connecting the high voltage all the way to here. And right now, that's basically the installation process. It's pretty simple. What he's gonna do now is he's gonna go grab a new battery and put it inside the car. When you do the installation, taking the battery out, putting it in is pretty simple. It's a bit more complex is the programming that needs to happen. But other than that, it's pretty simple. Hey guys, so hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any other questions, you can just drop it in the comment section and I do have something special for you as promised. If you use discount code GTAI, you can get $300 off for not if, but when your battery needs to be replaced. All you have to do is either give us a call with the phone number on the screen or click on our website. All right guys, see you in the next one.